Clementine? Clementine! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? Lee, I'm sorry. We can't. It's too risky for us. Krista, come on. I know. But Lee's asking us to put our trust in him, and that's just too hard for me. I hope you understand. I really am sorry. I hope you find her. But you're gonna have to do it without us. It's okay. I understand. This wasn't an easy decision, Lee. I want you to know that. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. Then I guess that's how it's gotta be. I'll go alone. We'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure we can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Good luck, Lee. I mean that. Yeah, man. Good luck. You too. Where the hell are they? Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt!
Bitch. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. What do you want to do? Get her back. Oh, shit! Focus, Bear. I'll find another way out of here. You stay on that door and kill anything that comes through it. Got it? I can handle it. You're sure? I got it! You just get us out of here! I'll have these doors open in two seconds. I thought you had a stroke or something. I was looking for the cause of it, and I... I found... found a bite. How? When? It happened before. 
sorry I didn't say anything. I just can't believe it. Why didn't you tell us? Maybe they would have stayed too. I don't know. I didn't know what to do. I don't think I could have done it anyway. Taken your arm, that is. I just... I don't know. I thought it might save you. That sounds like bullshit. Well, we've got to try something, right? Do we? Of course! Come on, Lee. No. We leave it. But... It's what we're doing. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. If I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem, I'm gonna be happy to have them both. But you'll die. Yeah, but not in here. Now keep an eye on that door, will you? I'll get these elevator doors open. Okay. Good. safe exit. Quiet. Got it. Shh. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Yes, then. Oh, shit! Oh, no. Lee, wake up! Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! I can't move! Damn, I'm stuck! Can you pull yourself up? You've got to try. Good. Man, you scared the crap out of me. Uh, do you want to talk about what happened back there? Just lost my footing, that's all. Well, let me know if you start feeling funny or, you know, anything. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. Okay. As good as I can be. There must be thousands of them. What the hell do we do now? We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. Okay. 
but I don't know about being down there. You're gonna have to figure out a way to deal with it. Clementine. She'd do it for me. Damn right she would. All 50 pounds of her. We gotta pick a direction though, right? I'm a little turned around after being down in the sewers. Like, where's the mansion? It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Sounds good. Let's try to get our bearings, figure out how we keep going. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there. Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No way I'm jumping that. She walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. toward the edge of the building. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? Just with all we've been through, it seemed like the only reasonable thing to do. If we use that bell tower to lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion and River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay. But you still have to get over there. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. You still want to die? I'm... More afraid of getting someone else killed. Well, you're here. Don't get me killed. I won't. Are you afraid? I'm still afraid of getting eaten. More than ever. You're gonna use the bell tower to bring them this way? Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. Let me go. No. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? 
If anything happens to me, you're the only chance she's got. Be careful. Getting over would be tough. It's higher up than I thought. Close. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe there's another way out? This way, how are you getting out of there? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. What? It's the only way. That's not that far, just a little hop. Hurry! Wow! You okay? Okay, we should probably get going. They fucked us! What? Who? It was Vernon. They were waiting for us and jumped us. They were armed and just... Fuck! Did they have Clementine? No, definitely not. She's not with you? She's with someone else. Her parents were in Savannah, and I think someone used that against her. Well, we're going after her, right? Yeah, of course. What the fuck is that on your wrist? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. A small, stupid thing. But yeah. Oh my god. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! We're all gonna end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? I'm fine. What's done is done. We have to focus on finding Clementine. Oh god. Everything just... <sighs> Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny.
We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten in God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kimmy! I'm gonna keep the front room locked down. Ben. Go upstairs. And do what? Just go. Omi. What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! What are you doing? Cut them off! They're strong as shit! <laughs> Come on! Hell! You're strong as shit! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Dirty my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Everyone get to the end of the hallway! What do we do now? This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready.
Fuck! Where do we go? No goddamn opening! Up! Go! Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right, we gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. We shouldn't have come up here. Where else would we have gone? The streets are a river of walkers, and they were coming in from all sides. We're no good to Clementine dead. Whoa, Lee. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna... have to... just... Get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. Maybe I should have made you cut it off. You could have cut it off? Yeah, there were tools. Lee didn't want to. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. 
Don't come near me with that thing. Can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. I didn't want to scare anyone. Because you were scared yourself. I've been bitten by a walker. You thought we'd turn on you. Sure. You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot. When you break a bone. But tingly. Like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy... What do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want Kenny to look out. Stop it. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see him with his family. What'd he do to protect them? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? He'll figure himself out one way or another. What do you mean by that? He'll either get his act together or something will happen to him. That's it? What else is there to say? He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to me. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bike. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. How are you? I'm... Uh... I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. You'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. You're right to hate him, you know? Maybe. But what good's it doing? I'm not hitting him back. He's having a rough go. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well... Cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up.
Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but... It don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee. You okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. <sighs> you still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. What do you call this thing? Art? It's sick, but... Think of all the pain they avoided. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I'd guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. going out this window. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do?
Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh. Quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah. Try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! He's screwed. He's not screwed! He can't die down here! What do you want to do, Ken? We can't... Oh. Oh. Fuck! Oh God, don't let them get to me. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. Just one. Fuck, that's not enough. What? We gotta do something. You're not doing shit. You are going after Clem. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Okay, here. Get back up there! Now! What are you gonna do? Fucking go! Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? I, I tried to help. What the fuck happened? There was just too many of them. Ben was really messed up and... I don't know. There's nothing else. God damn! God! I heard a couple shots. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you.
Do you want to talk? Nothing to say. We need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? Well... Ain't much choice now. No, there isn't. Easy, Krista. I don't care that he's who you wanted, but I want you to know that you don't need to worry. Okay. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. No, they don't. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. You two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. Krista, you next. Going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way.
I got us adjoining rooms. You must be tired. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car. Out front, then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I don't care. Fuck you. You have no idea. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? No. That's not true. You didn't care about that woman before holding her back so your friend could bash her dad's brains in? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? 
We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. I did my best. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey, I think this is all going to work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Let's get out of here, okay? Yes, please. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You 
you saved me. I'm sorry you had to, but I'm happy you could. Which way out? Through there. Savannah. Done. A little more. I want to be sure. <sighs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around, and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> 